In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to stain apple boxes in just a matter of minutes, so let's get started. While using photo and film gear as props in portraits is almost as old as photography, there are some unwritten rules which I think you should follow. And when you violate these simple tenets, I feel like going off like Joan Crawford did about wire hangers in the 1981 classic film, Mommy Dearest. Anytime you place something in your frame that's brighter than the rest of your composition, it's going to stand out like a sore thumb. So if you're using an unstained apple box as a prop, your viewer's eyes are going to go to the item and not to your subject's face, which will be a big mistake. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to stain your apple boxes, which will probably take less time than it takes you to retouch a picture. Step one is to sand down your apple box by hand with medium or fine grain sandpaper. This will remove the polyurethane seal and get it ready for staining. I would suggest using a used apple box because the scratches will show through after staining. Step two is to brush stain onto every surface of your apple box. I've always used English Chestnut by Minwax, but they have a lot of choices to choose from. Step three, after five minutes, take a rag and just wipe away the undried stain. Step four, let your apple box dry overnight on some surface that you don't care about, like a cardboard box. Step five, you can finally prop like a pro with your authentic looking antique apple box. In fact, you can use the same process on other surfaces like chairs. I've done that before and had great results. Anyway guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. And if you're watching this on Instagram TV, just know that you can watch these videos sooner on YouTube. And if you're watching them on YouTube, please hit subscribe so you can see more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for your time. Stay safe and have a great day.